Hello everyone! Commander Simlex here, and welcome once again to Star Trek Online for another quick guide video. In this video, we will be going over the salvage and re-engineering system within the gear upgrade system in Star Trek Online. To upgrade the gear is one option to enhance your gear beyond its current gear level or mark, or its rarity in terms of going from very rare to ultra rare, for example. However, once you have the gear to the appropriate level that you want and the appropriate rarity you want, you may want to change out its enhancements or its procs to something that is more to your liking, like an increased damage proc instead of a critical hit proc. And that is where the re-engineering system comes in. And similarly to the R&D system, you can access it through your inventory. If you go to your inventory, it is actually built into the piece of gear. So for example, if I wanted to re-engineer this Baudoir Polaron full auto rifle, excuse me, then I could right click on it and go re-engineer item. And that would bring up the re-engineering item screen. Or if you would prefer, and you don't know precisely which item you want to upgrade yet, you can also hit this button down here to reach the upgrade salvage and re-engineering system right away through this button. Once we get into this window, it will start by going into the upgrade gear screen unless you have right clicked on an item and went directly to the salvage and re-engineering system. If we go to the re-engineering system, it will first prompt you to choose an item. There are two ways that we can go about this. Either we can click on the slot, very similarly to the upgrade system that I went over in a previous video, or we can, and by clicking on this, sorry, and by clicking on this spot slot, we can select the piece of gear from a drop-down list, or we can click and drag a item from our inventory directly into the slot. Once the item has been slotted, several things appear within the re-engineering window. It lists the current name of the item, as well as the mark, and all the proc slash enhancements that are currently applied. This is very useful for having a quick overview as to what the item currently has applied to it. Another way that you can see what is currently applied in terms of statistics is by going to the item in the slot and hovering over it like so. And then things start to get a little bit more interesting. We have the proc selector area down here. This is where we can see not only what procs are currently applied, sorry I keep on saying procs for shorthand, procs slash enhancements are currently applied, but also allow us to unlock these enhancements and allow them to roll more freely. And as you can see, as I hover over each of them, it says what the current power is and what the potential powers could be cycled through as. So in this case, the current power is a damage increase, but we can also change it to a critical damage increase, a critical hit chance increase, or a damage increase. And if I were to hit unlock, we can see that it would bring up, it brings up sort of a Rolodex type system of potential uh, enhancements. And it does cost dilithium and salvage to perform a re-engineering upgrade for a piece of gear and we will get to the salvage part in a moment. And it is also never a guarantee. It is a randomized system. So if you, and just for the sake of this example, as we can see here, the dilithium cost for this upgrade would be 800, and the salvage cost would be 400 salvage. If we were to do this upgrade, Unfortunately, my character does not have enough salvage at the moment. 
we would then have a highlighted and active randomize button. This would engage the re-engineering system. And unfortunately, there is no way to actually guarantee that you would get something different. So it's sort of a spin the wheel and win type system whereby you take the chance that it will land on the proc that you want, either a critical damage or a critical hit chance increase rather than a damage increase in this instance. Now, you may be wondering, what is salvage and how do you get it? Well, salvage is built into each piece of gear similar to the upgrade and re-engineering systems. And in fact, we can access it directly by going to this salvage bit here under the re-engineering and upgrade window. If we go to salvage, it'll list all the pieces of gear that are currently in your character's inventory that are can be salvaged. Another way to salvage an item is to right-click on it, similar to the re-engineering and upgrade systems, whereby you right-click on the item and then hit salvage item. Do not worry, by default it will prompt you whether you want to salvage the item or not, so it does give you a bit of a heads up. You can turn that off though if you go into the salvage dialog here and deselect this check mark. And if you have a and if you have protection on or sorry, protected status on for an item, it will not salvage it, as indicated here, whereby the it'll only salvage the unprotected items. So say I wanted to get more salvage so I could continue with my re-engineering project. To do this, and for this example, I'll just use a regenerative shield array that is low level and not really useful for my particular character. I can right click on it and hit salvage item. This will then ask me, do I wish to, if I would like to salvage the item. And since I do, I hit okay. And then it salvages the item. In this case, I get 134 salvage, but also quite a few R and D building materials that I can use in research projects in the R&D system. And then that will be added to the pool, and then we can use it to upgrade any item we wish in the re-engineering system. So going back to the Vaudoir rifle I was using earlier, we can then go in here and change out the appropriate enhancement that we wish to change. Now, for the purposes of this video, seeing as I don't actually want to uh, change the enhancements on this particular piece of gear, I will actually not be doing uh, a full demonstration here, but the principle is essentially the same. Once you have enough resources, as indicated here in both the lithium and salvage, you can then unlock or relock as you choose to enhance your weapons just how you would like them to be enhanced. And you can then hit the randomize button once they are unlocked. You can also unlock multiple at a time, but as you can see here, the costs increase as you unlock more and more of the enhancements to randomize them. And there is, once again, I cannot stress this enough, it is a randomize, so you can unlock it, but there's no guarantee that you will actually land on the particular enhancement you want, because it is a randomization rather than a true selection. And that about wraps up the enhancement system slash re-engineering system for the gear upgrade system within Star Trek Online. Thank you all for watching. I hope you found this video enjoyable and informative. Please feel free to like and subscribe as this really helps the channel. And I hope everybody 
enjoys exploring the galaxy within Star Trek Online. Commander Simlex, out. Thank you.